as a tax accountant, this is one of the questions that I get the most. Josh, how can we get a loan, a $10,000 loan, uh, or maybe a $20,000 loan, maybe I need $100,000. How can we do this? We share experiences here, right? We either talk about our own experiences or we bring the experiences of someone who has already gone through this. We are talking about uh, funding and lending for small businesses and startups today. So um, I want, when I go into the financing options for businesses and startups, I really want to talk to you about what we like and I would like for you, the viewer, to share what your experiences are and what do you, what do you think are those best options that other entrepreneurs, other business owners or owners can use. Now, let's try to stay away from sketchy lending options, right? And I'll get into that in a minute. But before you start, uh, before we start, let's go into the financing part of things and, and, and why you need financing. And then the question of, Josh, how do I get financing? The question, the first question that I ask is why? Why do you want to get a loan? And the most typical response is, well, I want to start. I want to start a business. Now, I typically don't like to start businesses with loans. Now, that doesn't mean that it cannot be done. Why do you need this money? Why do you need the capital? Ask yourself that. It, you know, is it to go and uh, open this business? Can you open that business without borrowing money? For instance, maybe a service business, right? Or a software business. Can you, what are those businesses that don't require a lot of capital? So I'm talking to you from the perspective of a business owner who's been there before. Don't borrow money to go start the business. And before you go start the business, right? Uh, what are you going to do with that money? So that's the second thing. What? When, whenever you get that money, what are you planning on doing with it? Well, what I want to do, Josh, is I want to open a store. You want to open a store? Yes, I want to open a store and I want to spend $20,000 on the store and I want to put this beautiful sign and I want to do all these colors and I want to blah, 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 right? And then my next question is, well, how many customers do you have? Have you done this business before? If you're doing one of those businesses that doesn't require a location yet, and you can do it from home, and you can do it from temporary offices, you can do it from temporary locations. No, 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 Josh, but the customer wants a place to go. What customer? The customer from the 1930s probably, but today's customers, today's customers are looking for flexibility right? We want relationships, right? I will go to your house, right? I will go to your place. I will do, I do businesses with people uh, and, 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 you know, their, their offices at their house. And then MMS, what does that mean? Money management skills. If you're going to get a loan, you need to have good money management skills because if you don't have money management skills, you're going to burn through that money. You're not going to do your what, you're not going to do your why, and you're going to end up in a worse place than you were before. All right, let's get into the financing options. If you're starting your business or if you're thinking about starting a business, here are some options that we have either used or we have seen some of our customers use or we have helped some of our customers obtain, so on and so on, right? So rollover business storage. What does that mean? It means that if you have a 401k or an IRA, you can roll over that money into your company's 401k and use that money to start your business. Now, I'm giving you the tools here. I'm not spending time and telling you how they work. I'm giving you the tools. I'm telling you what tools you could use. If you wanna know how they work, you can contact us and we can tell you how it works. But a rollover 401k requires a, an expert to do that. And we've used a couple of companies and I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna put the link on the description of the companies that we have used to get this done. And you can roll over your 401k or your IRA into your business without penalties, without taxes, and you can use that money to fund your business. So why do you wanna have $50,000 or more? Because there are fees associated with it. And 
a lot of those fees go from $3,500 to $5,000. So if you have less than $50,000, it might not be worth your time. But for those who have 50, 75, 100, $200,000, if you pay a fee of $5,000 to get that rollover correctly, then you are in business. Then you have money to fund your business. So Josh, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna put my savings, my retirement in danger. Then why are you in business for then? You know, this is, the, if you're going to open a business, right? You are either gonna give it all or not, because that's what a business requires. You either put everything you got into it or you don't. So if you're not ready for that, then maybe think about what you want to do if you want to be in business or you just want to have a gig, right? So rollover business starters, great for a lot of people who want to fund their own business. Uh, this is a lot of people don't know about this option and don't let people just tell you, hey, let, let me do it for you. This is not something you can do yourself. They are the reports that you have to file with the Department of Labor, with the IRS, as much as I am big on do it yourself and I want everyone to do their own thing and you know, learn how to do this and learn how to do that, this is not one thing you do yourself because it's a pain in the ass. Credit cards, and I'll tell you what, let's start with our favorite here at Ayugo, Chase. Chase has some really, really, really cool and good options for credit cards for small businesses and the cashback options are great the, the 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 credit limits are very good too and yeah it requires you to have good to great credit but it's better than a lot of other companies we've seen over the years right including american express chase is our favorite but you make the choice right on what you want to do what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you the link uh for wallet hub who has the 10 best credit cards for 2019 and then you can make the best choice right now remember this mms what does that mean money management skills if you don't have good money management skills credit cards can become a pain in the butt for you right because you need to make those payments right it's not free money you got to make those payments you got to keep the balances under a certain level it's okay if you go if you if you get up there for a little bit but then you got to bring those balances down and you want to build that good relationship with the bank and the credit card company so they can give you more perks and more and they can trust you and they can give you more balances so when your business grow your credit also works and grows with you so mms money management skills for credit card all right a line of credit there are several companies out there that will offer you lines of credit especially if you're at an early stage there's a combination of your personal credit and your business and your revenue in order for you to get that line of credit this is the one thing that a lot of people forget for most of this for anything that has to do with a bank giving you money you are going to require credit and revenue if you don't have revenue, you gotta have credit. If you don't have revenue, you gotta have credit, right? So you're going to require credit. So uh, people want people think that there are those places out there that just they just give you money for no reason. No, when when a bank gives you money, they are expecting to make money out of that money. So they want you to have the ability to pay back with interest. And when you have bad credit or you have no credit or you have no revenue, guess what? the interest could be high and higher or you're just not gonna have an option to get a bank loan. So my favorite one, fund box. And based on your personal credit, based on your revenue, you're going to get a loan amount. It's a 12 week repayment program, but once you've established that relationship with fund box, typically a year, uh, then that 12 week repayment program turns into a 24 week repayment program based, of course, based on that good relationship you have. And guess what? That allows you to keep more money, right? Because uh, the payments are lower yeah, and, and the fees are incredibly low. So for the type of financing that you are looking for at an early stage, the fees are very reasonable. So our favorite one here, when it comes to line of credits for business, our favorite here at Ayugo is Funbox. SBA loans, small business administration loans. Now, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that. 
you need great credit, you need great assets, and you need to be in business for a while, and you gotta have your accounting in order, you gotta have projections, you gotta have a business plan, you gotta have very good revenue coming in. Let's not talk about that right now, but I do want you to think about SBA loans because in the next two, three years, you may be a good uh, candidate for an SBA loan, and there are only uh, several ways to grow businesses now, right? Either you have a lot of revenue coming in and you're really good at running a lean, lean company so that you can retain a lot of those profits and convert those profits into growth. You get a loan or you get investment, right? So uh, you wanna be ready for all those three things. So we're gonna move into HELOC, Home Equity Line of Credit. If you own a home, you have good credit, there are a lot of good banks out there that are offering a lot of good deals right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the description of the video the link for uh, from Wallet Hub from the, nine, I think it's the nine best rates right now in 2019. Now, here we go again. If you are in business, if you want this baby to grow, if you wanna make this business big, Take the risk. You know, if you don't take any risks, don't expect to be whatever you're thinking you're going to be, right? It doesn't work that way. It's a simple equation. Either you take the risk and you rip the rewards later, or you play it safe now and you rip no rewards later, right? You always live a safe life. Am I saying that you should take a risk just because? No, I am saying assess the risk. Take a look at your ability to produce a real business. And if you believe and if you have mentors or if you have people telling you that this business is going to do great or if you believe that this business is gonna do great, if you have the work habits, the work ethic to make it big, then by all means, take the risks. The last thing is investors. Now, there are a lot of angel investors out there. This is still the era of investment. Now, the problem with going and looking for investment is that you're going to have to have a solid business plan, which is not a problem, right? A solid business plan, solid projections. And there's a, a video, another video we have that I, that, that I talk about business plan and, and, and the business plan that we have made. Now, we ended up using our business plan for lending, right? Uh, we struggle getting financing from investors. Right? We're not trying to change the world. We're trying to simplify taxes and uh, accounting, simple as that, right? So why am I telling you this? Because you might be in that same situation where your business may not be so investable, right? Uh, you're not trying to change the world with your business. You're trying to service a market that is either either underserved or no one understands and you're going to make very very good money with it it's going to take time and you're going to have to finance it yourself simple as that be prepared for that angel investors are people with good money that write checks of 25 50 75 thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars two hundred and fifty thousand dollars they want to see the plan for growth but they're going to invest in you because they believe in you they like you right if you go to venture capital those guys are going to invest in you because they believe in your potential of you know of your all of your numbers so be prepared to give a chunk of your company away right and that's how the business works now there's also friends and family and this is where I want to make a big pause. If you take money from friends and family, you ought to pay it back. The best thing that we have in life is relationships, right? With our family members and our friends. Now, friends and family are going to struggle to give you money because friends and family know who you are, right? And if they always see you, that, and if they know the you who has always, always been lazy and you never have a plan, you're always late for things and you don't get along with people and sales is not your thing, then they may not be that inclined to give you a thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars so that you can go create this rocket ship and send it to the moon, right? And then you're gonna have those other friends who are, who you know what, they miss the investment opportunity in another company and because of that, that's been haunting them for years and because of that, now they wanna throw money at everything but they, well, the money that they're giving you is their bills money, 
right? The money they need to survive on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. And you wanna make sure that you don't take that money. You know why? Because that friend is going to need, that family member is gonna need that money in, in five months, in three months, in a year. And you're not gonna have it because it's deeply invested in your company. Here are six ways that you can fund your business. If you know of any other way and you wanna share it with the rest of us, absolutely. Share in the comments. Again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do it now, share it if you want to. We'll see you next time.